Minister of Education Prem Manik Chand on Thursday told the newsroom that there will be coordinated efforts in the coming months aimed at overhauling outdated school rules which disproportionately affects learners based on gender and ethnicity. Her comments came amid a national discussion sparked by a hairstyle memo issued by the Ministry of Education and addressed to teachers and learners. It seeks to grant a one-day permission for the relaxing of hair rules to allow for females to wear their hair as they desire on International Women's Day. But in what could be regarded as a backlash for the good intent, the airstyle rules have come in for strong condemnation across social media platforms. And so, Manning Chan addressed the issues during an interview in Region 2. Mind at all that concerns have been raised or that people are discussing, discussing the issue. In this case, there is no bad press. Anybody who wants to talk about gender equality, whether you agree with it or don't agree with it and, and so on, be my guest. I mean, I think it's a conversation that has to happen and as widely as possible. So I'm quite happy that it's actually generating conversation. Manik Chand welcomed the discussions both for and against the archaic rules and said it would no doubt guide and balance future guidelines. I am getting too many complaints of girls and boys who are being sent home or placed in detention or punished in other ways for um, their hairstyle not being appropriate or acceptable or according to our rules. Um, and it disproportionately targets some girls and so we have to examine it's a harsh conversation to have but it's one that is necessary and i think we're at a good time in the country's history to have it according to manik chan coming out of this debate is a balance of ideas for future guidelines that would not encourage competition and distraction or place a financial burden on parents the minister acknowledged that the condemnation of the memo is based on it being addressed to teachers and pointed out that while there are no rules for teachers, some have complained of being victims of discrimination in this regard. The issue that is distracting being that we addressed it to teachers. I don't think it was read accurately. The memo spoke to teachers and learners, um, but people are people who are critical of it are missing the whole learner's part. The education minister said all efforts are geared towards removing some of the archaic rules that could narrow how people express themselves. For the newsroom, Kurt Campbell.